Hi guys, uh, we're going to tie a sea trout needle tube. Uh, this is going to be based on the sort of classic Alexandra pattern. Uh, so we're using here, this is well, what, a 30 millimeter little silver needle tube and the silver part of it is going to hit our body. So we're going to add on red thread here. And a little bit of super glue and wrap those on just to create that head base and hopefully then that won't slip off. So for the throat you can use a bit of red slap and a bit of red hackle something like that. What I'm going to use is a little bit of rabbit. So I've got a little zonker strip here. I'm going to pull a bunch out of that. And that is going to go on the underside of our tube. Let me trim it off. So, there we have a nice bright little soft throat. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of black bucktail to uh, support the wing. So I have here the tip of a bucktail, but what I'm actually looking to use is the back part of the bucktail, the bit that's generally too short, but it's nice and fine, nice taper to it. I'll pull out the very shortest bits of it and measure that up against our tube to be back here roughly where the hook's going to end. Once I've measured what I'll do, transfer it to the other hand and snip it off completely flat level. Then if I just touch that with super glue, set it in place before that super glue dries, get that tied in and that'll give you a secure and neat way of tying in a little bucktail bunch. So next I'm going to take a piece of uh, silver crystal here and I'm going to tie that in at about the body length roughly and then double it back on itself so there'll be two strands. You notice here because the nature of the fly that we're tying being slim we're trying to avoid wraps. So wing peacock sword. So I'm going to take a few fibres from one sword and put that out to about the length of the body just hold it in place then I'm going to take a couple of fibres same amount, three fibres say from well, well, the matching fibre feathers shall we say so I'll get three of those, rip them out set that on my side. Hopefully they'll lay flat now. Sword has a tendency to do whatever it wants. <laughs> As you can see. So that fibre can be pulled out. So I'd always allow for an extra fibre or two with it because you'll end up probably cutting some out. And now we're going to put on jungle cock. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick a split jungle cock. You can see? I'm going to set that on and I'm looking to tie in this these white and yellow bits are enameled and are more difficult to tie in. Uh, so what I'm looking to do is fold that over right on top like a roof and tie in on that black portion. And when it's in position, 
tighten up those wraps. Trim that up. And that's the light out, you just need to finish the head, so... Super glue our thread and wrap that on sort of evenly across the head, it'll create a blob and then you can wrap your thread into that until you get a head as big or as small as you want and then finish it off. I do this with my hands, you can do it with a whip tool or whatever you want. We just need a coat of clear varnish or two. And that is our Alexander variant needle tube. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Should be a button for you to do that now. Uh, and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.